Previously on the Sarcastic Barman. Urea, potassium chloride, urea. Potassium chloride. Urea. Potassium chloride. In our vaccines. China. I'm a nurse ratchet. Phenol. Potassium chloride. And we got some mercury. Mercury. I think it's China. China. Baby. Ratchet. Potassium chloride. Yeah, that shit went on far too long as it was, but hell, it was funny. Now, let's see what this crazy fucking bitch has got to say this week, shall we? Or this day. Ah, crap, I'm making too many videos in one go. Hey, hell seekers, it's Kate Shimarani here, natural nurse in a toxic world. And it's that time of year again where we're told everywhere we go in the UK, get your flu shot, get your flu shot. And the vaccination teams are going into the schools and giving kids these flu shots up their noses. Now, I for one uh, like to make true informed consent for anything that I have done to me. And true informed consent is when you're told absolutely everything about what's going to be done to you, including the risks and any adverse reactions, side effects, etc. Now, while I agree that risks should be explained, I'm just wondering if all the risks were explained to you about things that you might have possibly had done. I mean, we're pretty sure it looks like you bleach your hair. You do know that could lead to your hair thinning, falling out, becoming stringy, at worst chemical burns on the top of your head causing scarring. You also know that lip filler can have some quite bad side effects, including infections into your blood that can result in the loss of tissue. In other words, your lips becoming fucked up and falling off. Before you had those injections and hair dyes and things like that, were these risks fully explained to you? Or did you just say, yeah, lots of other people do this, it'll be fine? Would that still be making an informed consent decision and all that shit? Or are you just basically talking out your ass for things that you don't like? We'll, we'll decide as this video goes on, shall we? And so... Uh... I'm going to look first at my board that you can see behind me and you'll see consent. And for it to be legal, it has to be informed. Now I'm not disagreeing, agreeing or disagreeing, but most people don't have the basic common sense understandings of what actually goes on with vaccines to make a fully confirmed dis uh, consent. You are a prime example of this because you're fucking moronic. Consent must be informed. So I would like to inform you so that you can make a legal consent as to whether or not you have this flu vaccine. Now, when you make this informative information present to other people, is it going to be in a way that's actually understandable? Or are you going to say something fucking stupid like you did on the last video I uh, had a look at of yours? I, I think you're going to make stupid fucking comments and hope people don't pick up on your stupid fucking comments when you talk about salt and urine and other fucking stupid stuff that you're going to mention and not put any context to. Because that's the most important thing in all of this is fucking context. So let's get to, uh, talking about it. You can see I've got lots of notes behind me, but that's to prompt me because there's a lot to get through. So first of all, let's look at the deaths from flu. We're told that thousands and thousands die every year from flu. And those at risk are the elderly and the young and those that are sick. And they're the ones that are actually offered this flu vaccine. Well, actually the deaths from those it's not from the flu itself, it's from complications such as bacterial pneumonia, heart attacks, and the elderly that have comorbidity, they have lots of other illnesses going on. Again, neither agree or disagree. Yes, people die from complications because of the flu. How many more would die without the fucking vaccine that prevents them or helps them stop getting the fucking flu? Now, we do have the large problem that the flu fucking mutates almost every fucking year. And you almost get a different fucking seasonal vaccine for the flu every fucking year. But, 
you're not really going to break these figures down, are you? You're just going to say, yes, people die of complications, that's fine. It's not the flu that's killing you, it's the fact that you had a weakened immune system and a weakened body because you had the flu and you had to spend several days in bed and your body was absolutely exhausted from having the fucking flu and that's what ended up causing your death when something else came in and fucking killed you. No, you fucking won't, will you, you daft bins? Heart disease, lung disease, excuse me, <laughs> I've got lots of cats in my house. And they have lots of other illnesses already and they're on loads of other medications. So those that smoke have a massive increase in death from flu and flu from secondary bacterial infections, passive smoking. So remember all of your children, if they're in a household where people are going to smoke, they're at risk. So if they get flu, all of the studies have shown that these kids that passive smoke or people in smoking households have increased risk of complications or death from flu. Valid points, but you're not saying why a flu vaccine needs informed consent. I feel like I'm going to have to speed you up chipmunk style at this point. So that's all your asthma and your cancer patients. The vaccinating of those with the flu, uh, flu vaccine does nothing to the death rate from flu. Absolutely nothing. But remember... What? Then why spend the money giving people flu vaccines if it does nothing to prevent the death of people with flu? I, I think you're missing the fucking point here. And flu vaccines do help those people at risk. This is the most important thing. 90% of people will be fine if they get the flu. It's a few days in bed, maybe a week. People like my wife who suffers from asthma, a flu could be really bad for her because she has breathing problems already. So, yeah, my elderly grandparents, flu is not going to treat them well either. These are the people who get vaccinated against the flu to stop them from hopefully contracting the flu and fucking dying. <sighs> Let, let's, let's get on with this shit. Remember, both of these have compromised immunity. So should they even be getting this? So viruses make us sick. The actual viruses make us sick. That's what we're told. That's what most healthcare professionals, most lay people and doctors think. But it's actually our immune response to the virus that makes us sick. <laughs> Wow, you are really fucking full of the woo, aren't you? I've heard this fucking response presented by Lemonbird and Spur Kismo. And while you probably don't know who the fuck they are, there is no way you want to be associated with the fucking crazy world that they fucking live in. They're the same sort of people that think the world is fucking flat. Is that the world you want to fucking be in? Oh, fuck. If you think about AIDS, they get um, inflammation in the microglia, the immune cells in the brain, and ALS, and that all these pro-inflammatory chemicals, lipid peroxidation, cytokines, they ultimately destroy your brain cells. So when you keep having these infections, these viruses, you are going to get brain inflammation. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no, 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 no. Thank God for 10 speed play. And I had to leave the aid stuff in there because just, yeah. Uh, well, just, uh, I've, I'm recording this after doing the show show and the amount of crap we had with crap on the show show because of the fucking history channel and the YouTube fucking bot. Oh, I've drunk far too much and this video is just like, ah, fucking crazy woman. So if we look at the flu itself, what's our body's response to the flu? Well, the virus will invade us and then our body launches a highly coordinated attack. This fantastic vehicle that nature developed and designed doesn't just do it randomly. It's highly coordinated. 
yes, your body is going to try and fight off the disease. But if your body doesn't have the right white cells, it's going to take time for your body to recognize the fucking virus that's infecting it and create the correct sort of cells to tackle this virus. This is the danger point where you can get ill, get weak and become susceptible to other diseases or the virus, depending on what it is, because cause organ failure, death, all that sort of shit that you don't really want. This is one reason we get vaccinated against shit. It releases chemicals, cytokines, chemokines, interferons, immune cells, that's your neutrophils, your lymphocytes, your macrophages, antibodies, and special proteins. Yeah, we'll give you that. Your body releases chemokines, chemoglobins, and interferons. I definitely said them right. It's obviously just a YouTube kick-up you had there. Where's my rum? But yeah, they're all special proteins, so I don't know why you mentioned special proteins again. But carry on. And it releases all those to attack this virus, but it also damages surrounding tissue. It's like if you want to take out a, a specific target and you throw in a big explosive, you're going to have collateral damage. And that's what happens with these attacks. You will get collateral damage of surrounding tissue. Now that... Um, no. Now, I know cells like eosinophils release toxins that kill certain pathogens and things like worms, but they don't explode and kill things and mythogens, myth myth mythogens, that'll do, eat dead cells and help to provide B and T cells with information on pathogens and viruses and bacteria that are in the body so they can fight them better, but no... You, you're just I, I don't even know where you're going with this because at the moment you're saying infections bad but you said nothing against vaccines I'm quite worried you're actually going to make this a pro vaccine ad fucking advert because at the moment that's the way it's looking that it's called the bystander effect when you get the damage of that tissue so once the invaders that's your viruses are killed off by this fantastic attack it switches off the immune attack switches off when you have a vaccine that immune attack does not switch off so i looked it up the word i was after was monocytes i i, I can't be asked recording re-recording the other bit um but no you crazy woman you do know what a dendritic cell is don't you you do know how vaccines actually work and they just basically provide us with a weakened or partly dead version of the fucking virus that our body then fights kills cleans up and then recognizes when we actually get the virus yeah because at this point I, I i'm surprised you can record a video so remember what i said about this low-grade brain inflammation that you get with viruses when you have aids the microglia constantly inflamed als and you keep getting destruction of the brain cells. Well, if you're having this flu vaccine and this response doesn't switch off, then you're just going to get more and more damage to your brain cells. It's just going to be constant. And that's what you do see with lots of inflammatory disorders. And then you start to see high levels of dementia. Hey, crazy bleach blonde lady, prove that vaccines are doing this shit. Go on, just prove. Tell us which cells are causing the inflammation and which things in the vaccines are doing this to us. And I dare you to say either mercury, formaldehyde, or any other fucking stupid words. And just for a promise, I haven't pre-watched this video. As with your last video, I don't pre-watch shit because CB fucking A. Uh. So people with immune disorders and weakened immunity their immune response also is broken and it doesn't switch off. And then that kicks into a really high gear and continues. And then you start to see damage to your vital organs, your liver, your lungs, your brain. And then the death from flu is, is lower than actually this response, this cytokine storm where you're getting damage to all your vital organs. 
You seem to be saying that these people are having autoimmune responses and cocking it up well and truly. And then saying that cytokines, which are basically signaling fucking proteins, are causing this damage. Um, I'm happy for someone to correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. But yeah, you're, you're fucking crazy. But that flu shot is not. And it's going to put your body under a lot more pressure. And that's not to mention the mercury in it. Thimerosal. Ooh, mercury and thimerosal, the double whammy of mercury. You know, thimerosal is a mercury-containing organic compound, so you're basically saying mercury and this other mercury-like thing. Now, we covered mercury in the last fucking uh, video on your f fucking baloney of crap and basically explained that you'll get more mercury in your fucking tuna fucking sandwich and fish oil supplements and shit than you will get from a fucking vaccine. And then we will also like to now point out that thimerosal was stopped being used in most vaccines in children and adults in 2001, apart from multi-dose flu shot things, so flu shots with more than one type of flu crap in it. But if you're having a single sort of flu vaccine, thimerosal is not using it anymore. And if you did any nursing work in the last decade, you should know that shit. But as we know, you're from the 1960s when all this shit was fucking mental. We'll just leave it at that. Your video has contained no relative information about vaccines apart from crap. And I will admit, I skipped out a huge section of your video, which is basically just relating to diet, eating healthily and stuff like that. Apart from you spent a couple of minutes going on about organic food and shit. Uh, just what the fuck ever. I, I have had enough with your crap. Unfortunately, I've got one more of your fucking videos to do, haven't I? Mm, go for it. Uh, just, just, just watch out for part three. It'll be tomorrow. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to tell me how crazy this woman is. And if I am getting things wrong when it's medical, please let me know. Learning is good, and good is learning. But I don't think it's... It's going to be that much things, I, I hope. Hey, does.